วัสดีค่ะ I'm s o c h i n Lim Green Guy and welcome to be my guest. The programs that brings you successful stories of institutions and entrepreneurs in both international and domestic arena. The booming growth of artificial intelligence or AI around the globe makes new opportunities and businesses. In Thailand, the AI industry is in a very early stage, but there are huge demands for AI applications to solve practical problems, such as replacing routine tasks, saving costs, and improving services. Our guests today will share with us some insights about this topic. In today's episode, we are joined by Dr. s u t h i s o p a n c h u e w o n g y a t Leadership Development Consulting, and Kun Mantana r a k s a c h a t Leadership Development Consulting. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ Thank you for joining us today. So, first of all, as we all know, that Thailand is entering its digital era right now, and you know, artificial intelligence is also playing a more important role, as you know. Each year goes by. So, in your opinion, how do you think the the AI plays a role in this era? How important is it? Um, in the coming of a digital economy, yes. and AI is a part of it. Yeah. I think you know um, a lot of company will and business yes. will gain a lot of competitiveness through it um, efficiency, through it um, productivities, okay. and also it can help our the business. To understand customer more and more, mm -hmm. so uh, now today people not just only buy the products or service, yeah. but they also want to experience that mm -hmm. um, product and service as well. Yes. And AI play a very important role in helping um, us to understand what customer really need and what kind of uh, social interactions that has been true, and at the same time can offer the product and service that match with their. Um, Uh, I mean, need or there um, more than a need that we we meet it every day. I see. And in addition, you know, I think um, the most importantly that um, in Thailand probably uh, we not see it as uh, something that benefit us, but we see it in the way that um, it's gonna destroy the world, take like over, take over our job. Yes. You know, so um, that feeling, you know, creates some kind of fear yeah. rather than hope. In that sense, you know, it um, it make us not give a very good collaboration to the technology or AI or robot. I see. But if we consider, you know, what happening in the part, we can see that um, this is not something new, because mm. if we turn the time back to um, uh, 18 or 19th century, yeah, we can see that um, in the revolutions of agriculture, we already faced the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the past, all the farmer that work in agriculture, they work by using the um, manual workforce. Yes. But uh, the revolutions of agriculture then bring in technology, machines, tools that can help um, the agriculture business grow very fast, and that can help uh, all the consumer have uh, more food yes. you know, and um, productivity increase. So in that sense, it have uh, it bring a lot of um, I mean, innovation bring a lot of productivity mm -hmm. to us. And um, if we uh, turn the time back uh, 20 years ago, uh, consider America yeah. as a country. Uh, the job of agriculture farm has been mm -hmm. decreased from 80 percent to 2 percent. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yes. And um, it means that what they are doing right now, now they become. Uh, Have a lot of jobs that has been increased recently. For example, um, software developer and um, graphic designer. All of these jobs not exceed in the part, but with technologies coming and to bring all the you know a lot of opportunity for new job. So uh, the next generation farmer, instead of working on the farm, they send their kid to school and then you know working in the more high value job. Which means those uh, many new jobs that existing in the new world, and at the same time, you know, if we consider technology is bringing a lot of opportunity. I same see. when we go to the AI era, they bring in the new job as well. I mm -hmm. see. So instead of thinking of it as taking over our jobs, mm -hmm. it is basically creating new jobs instead yeah. of traditional jobs, mm -hmm. creating more opportunities, yes. more skill actually. Mm -hmm. So that's actually a positive way of looking yeah, at it instead sure. of being scared of it. So in this sense, 
as you know, there are so many industries right now trying to apply artificial intelligence mm. into their companies, how do you think organizations should prepare themselves or develop themselves in a way to adapt to this artificial intelligence era? Mm. Um, I have a chance to talk to um, the owner of uh, AI, a robot technologies, um, Dr. Uh, Dr. David Hansen, okay. and he is the founder of Hansen Robotics. Okay. And um, we have a, t a good talk, you know, about how it's going to develop, and we find out that in about 10 years, 20 years, that um, AI can fully develop and work as human. I so I think during these um, 20 years, uh, the organization and the leader should focus on preparing the leaders or the people, especially uh, with some things, some skills that uh, is cannot be replaced by the robot. And I think uh, there are some skills that should be to consider, especially some skill that uh, this is the strength of human. Mm. Uh, I can call it human moment. Mm -hmm. And for example, mm. empathy. Mm -hmm. And this is a very strength of human that even robots can interact, they can uh, talk to us, they can communicate, but they cannot understand, you know, what I'm thinking about, and they cannot sitting as my uh, in my like um, Your shoes. my shoes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, this is strength of human. That's why we can work as a team, we can connect to each other because I'm sitting on your shoes and I know how you feel. Mm -hmm. So a uh, human should develop this strength for us in order for us to be more competent, more understanding, more empathy in working as a team. I see. And the second skills that a uh, human should be focused on is um, uh, curiosity. Mm -hmm. And I think even uh, the robot can uh, do some art, the yeah. robot can do some cooking, but they cannot have a sense of, they want to know what's happening there. They cannot think out of the box. Basically. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, they cannot questioning something that in front of them, why this happened and how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is really the skill of human. And we have all of that strength, but if we just focus on technology and forgot about building this strength, then uh, I think in the future, uh, in terms of creativity, innovation, um, it's only from human, not from robot. I and see. it can be the way that we can create new things for future world. Mm -hmm. And um, the third skill that um, this is the human moment as well is uh, the decision making or making some judgment. Even robot can say, okay, this is right or wrong. But sometimes, you know, working in the organization, we need some uh, decision that's in between, like in the gray area. Yeah. And um, this is really the, the skill of the human who say that, okay, if the situation comes this way, uh, we should go for this solution. I see. Mm -hmm. So basically, we still need to be human keep yeah. ourselves, you know, on the ground and yeah. keep what we, you know, pride ourselves mm -hmm. for, not just think of technology, but yeah. try to keep what mm -hmm. human inside yes. us. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, now we take a quick break here and when we come back, we'll talk more. Pad Thai has been famous since World War II. Noodles are made from rice. The same grain used for rice with barbecue pork, rice with chicken, and crispy rice. The sauce is made from a mixture of tamarind. Locals believe the tamarind tree is holy and use it to ward off evil spirits such as the flying ghost, the glowing ghost, also Dracula. Pad Thai is not complete without dry shrimps. Good dry shrimps come from the south of Thailand, which is known for a beautiful coral reef, white sand, and sunshine. If you prefer authenticity, Try having it with banana blossoms. Banana tree trunks are also used for the Lai Gratong festival and also for practicing Muay Thai. This is the story of Pad Thai. There are thousands of other stories to discover. Discover your amazing stories in Amazing Thailand. Welcome back to our second break. So we already talked about human moments here. So right now, can you elaborate more about maybe the word human moments? What does it actually mean? Okay. Uh, the human moment has two 
prerequisite firstly uh, people physical that they show yeah. in each moment right yeah. second one is mentality and intellectual attention uh, we need to build both at the same time firstly let's say that uh, when we ride in the airplane six hour okay. shoulder to shoulder with someone yes. not having any human moment the yeah. entire right that might be happen at the same time let's say at work when you have meeting with someone even five minutes but you not pay attention or you pay attention but uh, your mind is your mind swear. that's that's right mm. something like this uh, we need to control ourselves and from uh, now they uh, our situation change very very fast right yes. we have many many equipment tools let's say exactly. like mobile tablet right yes and many meetings yeah. how can we control ourselves to show human moment okay. to to the others nice. this is very important uh, we have the the way or the secret that can help you okay. to prepare yourself to build an effective human moment okay. uh, we call super skills okay. super skill uh, it means the, fu the future skill okay. for human okay, okay firstly uh, be, be present mean when you be with someone you talk with them you uh, set the time uh, get rid of something that you that not involved with that moment yeah like your phone yeah <laughs> sometimes when we talk to someone we just grab our phone mm -hmm. and just start typing yeah that's right and it seem easy right yeah but at actually it's not easy at all yeah or the I first thing agree. right if you cannot be present robot can can do better yes. human moment than you mm -hmm. okay secondly we call hyper awareness hyper awareness hyper awareness mean uh, your self awareness to trigger your uh, emotion your bias mm. your thought okay. let's say that i'm talk to you okay. if i have if i'm not trigger myself if you and me have some different personality yes. right uh, i might have uh, some idea that in my mind okay. that I'm not expressed to you yeah. this will um, reduce our human moment okay. so people need to have self-awareness okay. to really understand your your own bias mm. emotions toward others okay. okay this is second thing that uh, we need to develop ourselves okay. many people might think that, that they have self-awareness skill but uh, some organization did this research let's say like 400 people mm. when we ask what what number you do you think that they think they have self awareness mm. more than 90 percent but the fact is that just only 10 percent that really yes that's a huge misconception right right, there. right. let's say that if you ask me uh, do you have self awareness mm. i might say yes but if you ask dr suthi sopan uh, does mantana has a self awareness <laughs> Doctor in my say no, right? Yeah. This is uh, how we need to really understand our emotions. I see. Okay. And the third thing is uh, we call decoding. Mm. Decoding uh, is uh, really important because as a robot, right? When you, if you communicate with robot, robot, they have the program inside their, yes, their yes. head, right? But as a human, let's say right now, I'm talking with you. Mm. You have something in your mind. Mm. I also have something in my mind. Uh, during the conversation, I really need to uh, decode something. Mm. Let it's my it it's me like um, I need to guess some assumption from let's say like uh, your your eye contact. Mm. I mean the conversation that flow in the in the air I that see. you didn't uh, speak. Like expressions, right? Basically. Right. Yeah. This is called decoding. I so uh, you cannot decode just only the the verbal. You need to decode all signal, so you can build more uh, human moment. I see. Okay. I see. So these are the the skill sets that humans should develop further in order to let's say be superior than robots. Otherwise, then we're just another robot, basically, which it seems like we're turning into that. Right. Like, Definitely. Each day. Definitely. And I think this is basic skills that humans should have anyway. And people tend to forget that when technology takes over, it seems like their minds just rely on technology. That's right. That's right. Many times, uh, my son told me that, Mom, I already text you. 
it means that maybe he didn't decode what else that I might thought, right? Yes. That's not it, uh, on the message, something like yeah. that. We rely on the written or the, or the text. text. Right. Yeah, because yeah. while texting, you don't know their tone, their facial expression. Mm. Everything is just words. So you, it's in your head what you you decode that mm -hmm. that text. So That's that is right. actually a very good skill to yeah. to have to you know learn decoding, look at people's features. So you mentioned these skills. How do you think that you can help enhance, or how how the people can enhance themselves, make it better? As we already know, these are the things we need to do. But how how to make it better? Currently, uh, in our development, uh, how can I say, development technology, human development technology, uh, we have some uh, tools that mm. can help you really understand your, yourself. So okay. you, can, you will better have self-awareness. Mm. Then you can uh, build your development plan. Let's say like if I have a challenge in terms of uh, decoding, okay. Then I will have the uh, action that can improve it. Okay. So firstly, you need to do some we call assessment to really understand ourselves. Okay. okay. So after that, you will have a better self awareness, and then you will find the way that really uh, I mean like customize or individualize in terms of develop develop you for better human moment. As you mentioned, human moment at this. Uh, at this stage, very difficult mm. because many moments that that you interact with others, we interact without being present. Let's say, like you talk with your boss, that maybe meet you only once a month. Human moment very difficult if you not meet each other because you cannot show another person. Really difficult to show your attentions on the phone, right? Even you pay attention on your boss on the phone, but it's very difficult for him to. To understand that, yeah, yeah. true. Okay, and this goes for every relationship. I think even with two mother and son or yeah. couple, girlfriend, mm -hmm. boyfriend. I think it's very important. Yeah. So now today we have the uh, the program or the the thing that can help you after decoding, right? You need to voicing, yeah. express your true feeling. It's very difficult. This this morning I met with the top executive of a, a famous company. Mm. He said. Uh, his uh, secretary always uh, come to work late. He thinks she should know herself. Mm. Even he is the owner of that company. He said more than like uh, more than many years that he not tell this woman that uh, she should be on time as a PA. Mm. Yeah, this called expressing uh, expressing your true yeah. feeling. Uh, this is the another skill that we can practice. You might think, oh, why you cannot just only say it, right? Yeah. Need to practice it. Okay. Yeah. I Because see. humans sometimes we we more concerned to show our. We think too much. Basically. Right. We we overanalyze everything, and we just think: should we say it? Should we not say it? What is that? We just think too much. Maybe it's just easy to express ourselves. Maybe. Right. Right. So, which is a good skill. That's okay. Human. Effective human moment. Uh, you need to understand the outcome that you want, yeah. right? Otherwise, you might uh, uh, waste other time. Let's say, like, if I talk to you yes. uh, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, and you don't understand what I want from that conversation, right? Yeah. This is a uh, we call flow control. I see. Any human moment, you need to control the flow to be effective by understanding what is the outcome that you want from that human moment. So now we'll take a quick break here, and when we come back, we'll talk more. Thai way of life is all about simplicity. We create things from what we have. Take spas, for instance. We can make them from coconuts, herbs, hammers, even laser spa. Spa in the woods, or in a cave, and even on a golf course. We can do a lot with a lotus flower too. We give them to pay our respects. Use the leaves to wrap our rice. Even use the stems to make a delicious dish. We don't need much to create a bit of romance either. We simply start with a beautiful scenery. Add some Thai charm and finish with a slice of fun. 
The way of Thai, our way of unique happiness, and it begins with the people. Amazing Thailand. Thai people take relaxation seriously. We have come in spas, coconut spas, herbal spas, hammer spas, royal spas, laser spas, spa in the woods, spas in caves. We even have spas on golf course. The way of Thai, our way of unique happiness, and it begins with the people. Amazing Thailand. Welcome back. We are still here with Dr. s u t h i s o n g p a n c h o i w o n g y a d Leadership Development Consulting, and k u n m a n t a n a r a k s a s h a t Leadership Development Consulting. Welcome back again. So I've heard recently that there was a seminar held called mm. Human Robot Partnership. So can you tell us a little bit more about this seminar? Yeah. Let me go back to the inspiration first. Sure. Um, actually, a lot of people talking about. Robot or technology or AI taking yeah. our role of a yes. job, yes. so uh, it creates somehow the fear rather okay. than hope. Yeah. That's why you know I'm thinking to myself, is that true? And actually, um, this question has not been proven yet. Mm -hmm. And um, one day, I'm sitting with my two of my daughters, mm -hmm. and um, one of my friends sent me um, the video YouTube of Sophia, which yeah. is the the robot. She is the one who is the first citizen, citizenship robot in okay. the world. Okay. So um, I watch this YouTube with my girls, and you know I can see uh, their eyes that um, this seem that is very interesting, and they say that I really want to meet Sophia. Mm. Mm. So I'm thinking to myself, why are the kids seeing this in a positive way, mm. and we as adults, we feel that this is threatening our job. Yeah. So um, I'm start study about Sophia. I'm start talking. Um, I'm start studying about technology, and then I'm thinking to myself, it's time that bring in Sophia and um, let all the people in Thailand experience. Mm -hmm. And then we can see that um, is there anything for us to be aware of? Mm -hmm. Anything we should improve? Anything that we can prepare? I see. And it's a great experience that we work with um, the global speaker. Uh, and also um, the founder of uh, Hanson Robotic, Dr. David Hanson, um, who is develop all the um, robot, which mm. is human-like. Mm -hmm. I see. And um, when I work with him, you know, I think uh, all the Thai people who has been uh, participated in the event have learned a lot. Mm. That um, especially uh, for the new generation leader, uh, we should give them the opportunities to think and to dream big. Because this is somehow that creates more innovation I for the see. future, and if we are as the parents uh, talking about technologies in terms of negative, yeah, then you know it's kill all the innovation from uh, our future kids. Yeah, you you already plant that seed yeah. of fear inside yeah. them. So instead of creating curiosity, you create fear, yeah. which is actually a negative thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned that there was you know. Keynote speakers mm. there involved in the seminar. Who were they? Can can you tell us a bit more about that? Uh, apart from Dr. David Hansen, yes. right, we also have uh, Chris Riddle. We mm. know him as the uh, global futurist. I mean, he predict, he study trends, yeah. and he uh, predict the future. Okay. He can brief us. Uh, he brief twenty year in the, the futures. In 20 minutes, very oh. exciting. Okay, sounds Some, very interesting. Indeed. Yes, and many participants they are from banking industry. Mm -hmm. Even they watch many video on YouTube or yeah. from Facebook, right? But when when they learn and hear from him, mm -hmm. it's really inspired. Many of them told me that uh, in the past they just fear, but now they have also have hope that mm -hmm. in the future human need to do something, collaboration with robot. That will improve our society. I see. Just so, what did he say, basically? Basically, let's say like um, in the past, when 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 our kids right uh, have time with uh, television, mm -hmm. watch television, uh, or just only play the game, yeah. we think that oh, that's bad. Yeah. But actually, 
we cannot tell good or bad mm -hmm. something that happened now we just need to them to experience many things okay. because in the future you you might not know that what is the career in the future yeah. even now some organization they predict the ca the career that will happen in the future right mm. but maybe not right so now what we can do or prepare our kids we need to uh, equip them with more experience more capabilities I right see. we should not um, told them that what career that they should be when I talk with my friend who work in the finance industry, they dream that one day their kids will be like them. Mm. But maybe in the future, that job has no longer, right? Yeah. yeah. Which, you know, it reminds me of another job, gamer. Right. Before gaming was e like, it's a very bad thing. <laughs> like it would drag you from, you know, your studies. And, but now it's actually a job and you get paid really right. well to right. do it. So right. that's another example. I right, think, right. That, that Many times we just think, oh, we need to think out of the box. Yeah. But uh, now today, more than that. Yeah. We, we need. Box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in that case, there was there was Mr. Chris who was there, and who else was there to to give uh, a special another speech? one? Um, Norman uh, Buckley. He is the uh, author of uh, Facet Five. Okay. Facet Five is the personality assessment. Mm. Norman uh, working in this area more than 30 years mm -hmm. and he has uh, experience with uh, many executives and especially the one who working in the technology industry. Uh, he did some research. Okay. What kind of the uh, personality or capability of the people in the future who work in the, we call the uh, environment that change that yeah. you cannot predict, right? Yeah. If you, uh, what kind of the personality that, that will support, and he share with us what the uh, what we should prepare okay. for ourselves okay. to Can cope you give with an that. Example. Example. I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay, I try to think about uh, okay. his life. Uh, super skill that I mentioned yeah. earlier is one thing. Yeah. Another thing, like uh, as you know, robot they have no personality, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Though robot actually they have no motivations. But each individual, we have different motivations. Yeah. Uh, in your, what is your motivation? Mm, culture. Okay. okay. Uh, my mo my motivation might be meeting people. Mm. Your motivation might be uh, something. Learning something. New. Learning something, and other might think, oh, my motivation is uh, building a long re long relationship, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Robot have no personality, no. Uh, motivations but we have different motivation that's why when human work together we are bet we can build a better society than I the see. the robot but before that we need to understand uh, what is motivation for each person I okay see. it's about uh, how we build a better society by understand other personality uh, motivation something like that I see I see so so basically just you know telling you how how you can be more human, basically, and, and the skills that, that can help you to become more human. Yeah. Than it's robots. funny, right? Oh, yeah, it is now, now like, it's, okay, it's we are human. We have <laughs> dream, but we seem not like human anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's just we overlook. I we think become so. robots. Right. Yeah. And now robots mm -hmm. look like human than exactly. us. Exactly, which is true. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your insights and talking, having a fun talk with us today. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. As Thailand pushes forward to the digital economy era, ramping up the use of artificial intelligence will serve not only to transform the world of business, but also how people live. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. See you again next time. สวัสดีค่ะ